I feel so weird today. I think it's the weather. The weather is hideous. It's June and it's pissing it down. It's been dark all day. This is where my like sustainable hemp pessian weave side comes out, but I reckon that whatever's in the weather, something in the air is making the world go awry. And I think I have evidence to back this up because one of the first pieces of news I saw when I woke up this morning was that Justin Bieber has challenged Tom Cruise to a fight in the UFC. That's... That's not ordinary. Lorraine Kelly has been trending all day for throwing shade. That's not ordinary. And I've overmilked my tea. I'm fine. It was quite the weekend. We did very many activities and I've already lost my reusable water bottle. Go me. We filmed Tom Scar's Day Out 13, which is probably gonna be uploaded in six years. You know what he's like. That's fun because my first time ever on the internet was Tom Scar's Day Out 4, which was nine years ago now. Stressful. We went to a, a trampoline house, a big room where there were lots of trampolines. <laughs> I had a great time. We bounced around for an hour. There was so much physical activity. None of us stretched beforehand, so we're all aching now. Also, it turns out my new favorite activity is leaping from things onto an airbag. I kept landing and then getting up immediately and going right back to do it again, like that dog on the slide. We did some mini golf and I lost and the less said about that, the better. And then it was time to go to a, no, I had a nap. We went back to Tom's house and I got very comfy on his chair and then Squidge came and nestled in with me and everyone was talking about nice things and it was all very calming and I just, I just fell asleep. I just had a lovely nap. I love naps. And then it was time to go to a party and it was a fancy dress party and the theme was villains and I dressed up as nothing. I don't do dressing up, I hate it the most. Which arguably makes me the biggest villain of all. I think it's fair to say that most people make an assumption that I love to do dress up. This is an assumption that is fundamentally wrong. I could not hate it more. I just, I really don't like it. I once went to a Halloween party in no costume, but everyone started asking me who I was. And in the end, I just got so bored of being like, yeah, I don't really like dressing up. I started saying I was my biggest fear, a failed actor. It was too real. Then one time I said I was dressed up as a boy who was cold. So every now and again, I'd just go, oh. It's an excellent joke, I know. I actually did try to fit the theme for this weekend's party into my anti-costume. Which villain was I? Was I a man who is always looking for someone better to talk to at a party? Yeah, right, yeah, no, yeah. No, that's, that's really interesting. Or the true villain of our time, an influencer. Pause for laughs. I don't know where it comes from. It's probably the idea that I show up to the party and I'm the only one. It's Bridget Jones. You know, she shows up and the Tarts and Vickers theme has been canceled, but nobody's told her. So she's just dressed as a Playboy bunny. That's my worst nightmare. I'll show up to a party as the Playboy bunny. And I'd rather be the only one in normal clothes than be the only one dressed as a Playboy bunny. Or maybe there's some form of uncovered childhood trauma related to all of this that I've not really delved into. Like maybe I went to a party and some child bullied me because my gladiator costume wasn't cool enough. <laughs> 